Hi everybody, my name is Irina. I'm a Ukrainian who lives in Jamaica. Today, as a part of Jamaica Video Guide series, we're going to a famous place close to Montego Bay. It is a bird sanctuary, and I'd love to share the information about famous Jamaican hummingbird, who is a national symbol of Jamaica, and it is known locally as Dr. Bird. Since this video is about birds, I thought it would be a good idea to ask for some assistance from my family member. So let me introduce you to him. Hello. Yeah. This is not a hummingbird. Ruxar is a blue and gold macaw. Originally, these birds live in South America, but he was born in Jamaica. His wings have never been clipped. We got him when he was a tiny baby in a tiny cage, and now he flies everywhere in the house and Avery, and he's learning to fly outside to be a free flighted bird. Once he went in a huge almond tree and didn't know how to fly down. Still very young, still learning. But so far he chooses to stay with us. Ah. We are in Rockland's Bird Sanctuary and we're going to meet our guide right now and hopefully gonna meet some birds too. Over the years, Rockland's Bird Sanctuary has become a famous attraction among tourists and locals alike. The reason is, thousands of wild birds who live in the sanctuary. A paradise for bird watchers and bird lovers. <laughs> That's incredible. Good morning. Good, good morning. These guys have been meeting us all day. Look, they're trying to like get some food. All right, let me get my mask on. My name is Irina. Mm -hmm. Hello, the elbow high. My name is Fritz. How long have you been working in this park? Many years, more than 30 years. I live on the property here. Okay, so guests come here and then there are some bottles. I'm going to give you some two bottles to feed the hummingbirds. They come and sit on your finger and drink like this. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's good. <laughs> they like it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is our national bird of Jamaica. Yes, the doctor bird. And this one is called Jamaican mango hummingbird. Mm. This is incredible, and they have such, oh my god, they have, look at that, this one doesn't have feet, what happened with her feet? That one has feet, but you don't like to sit and feel it. It's perfect, you like to hover and drink. As soon as you come to the property, you are surrounded by hummingbirds and the sound of their wings. The fact that hummingbirds can fly down from the trees, perch on your finger to drink nectar from a bottle, feels simply surreal. The birds of Jamaica included a total of 326 species as of May 2020, according to bird checklists of the world. 28 of them are endemic. Here is the list of all known endemic species that have been recorded in Jamaica. The national symbol of Jamaica is red bill streamer tail. This is a hummingbird that is also known as swallowtail, scissor tail or doctor bird. It is indigenous to Jamaica, where it is the most widespread member of the hummingbird family. And it is one of the most spectacular amongst all hummingbird species. It is covered with shimmering green and black feathers. The male doctor bird also has a distinct tail with two long black feathers that trail behind him while he flies around. 
It is known that the first inhabitants of the island, the Arawaks, believed that the green hummingbird was the magic because the species are very fast and hard to catch and kill. They believed it was a god bird, the reincarnation of the dead that held their souls. For years, the Dr. Bird has been immortalized in Jamaican folklore and songs. In general, hummingbirds are birds native to the Americas. They are the smallest of birds, most species measuring from 3 inches or 7 centimeters in length and barely weight anything. They are known as hummingbirds because of the humming sound created by their beating wings, which flap at high frequencies audible to humans. They hover in mid-air at rapid wing flapping rates, which vary from around 12 beats per second in the larger species to the excess of 80 in some of the smallest. Sir, what goes into the syrup that you have? Just water with sugar. I don't measure it. I just mix it and taste it. It has to be really sweet? Yes. Not so sweet as it will be too sticky, too heavy for them. Is it okay for the birds to drink sugar? Yes. Is it, it, it's not bad for them? Mm -mm. It's not going to do them nothing because they use a lot of energy being flying up and down. You see, hummingbirds have the highest mass-specific metabolic rate of any homeothermic animal. To conserve energy when food is scarce and nightly when they're not foraging, they can go into torpor, a state similar to hibernation that can slow the metabolic rate uh, to one fifteenth of its normal rate. Don't wait. In general, hummingbirds, including Jamaican ones, feed on nectar from flowers using a long, extendable tongue. I couldn't get a shot of their tongue, but check out this footage I found. This little tongue. But how is it even possible that these wild, free birds got tamed and now not afraid of interacting with humans? Well, let's go back to Rockland's bird sanctuary and find out. According to the map of Jamaica made in 1804, the area of the Rocklands Park was known as Scarlets. There was just a private house of the Scarlet family that owned a lot of land around Jamaica. And then the house was abandoned in the 19th century. Originally, hummingbirds were not interacting with humans in such a way, and the area around the house was no different to any other. However, all of that changed in the middle of the 20th century. There was a um, white Jamaican lady started this. Lisa Salmon. She's the one who started this in the 1952. She started feeding hummingbirds. It took her six years before the birds come to her down in the forest. This was her home bill in the late 40s. Then she started to move in like a bit closer until they come up here with her. And then she opened to the public in 1958. Oh, okay. So it wasn't like she just went into the forest, no, saw no. all the birds. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> Six year patient. <laughs> wow. Miss Simon, what made you start the bird sanctuary? When I moved up here in 1952, I realized that nobody was thinking about the birds and they were shooting the birds mercilessly. So mm. that I started taking up the cause of the birds and that brought the sanctuary into being. It's all stopped now. In a way, it has stopped. But it does not... What is in this? Sugar and water. They, and obviously, they like that. Yes, and it so happens to be granulated sugar, and the doctor birds won't drink oh. anything else, unfortunately. How did you find out that they like that mixture? Well, we knew that they did like a sweet syrup. Uh -huh. It took a long time at the beginning to get them to drink out of this type of bottle. Uh -huh. Well, eventually, everything started coming oh. into it. Sadly, Lisa passed away in the year 2000, when she was 96 years old. But what she began as bird sanctuary, her legacy, still lives on. Well, she always loved the birds then. If you hurt one of her birds, she ate you for her life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
The property was inherited by her nephew and is looked after by Fritz. He's the man who's been our guide on this tour. I know her when me was little, so I always sell her goat meat. She loves goat's meat, yeah. <laughs> before, before that, I know her when me was, before that, I know her when me was little. No birds in cage here, <laughs> all in the wild. Yes. What do you think about zoos? Like they keep birds in cages? It's not good. Birds like to be free, mm -hmm. just like human. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. There are so many positives in visiting Rockland's bird sanctuary. You begin with the stunning view of Montego Bay, and then you can spend all your time feeding the birds. But I also suggest taking a tour around the grounds to see the whole garden, where your guide will introduce you to more birds and also plants. So how big is the park? It's over three acres. Three acres? Yeah. And who makes this, there are different bird feeders everywhere, right? Me make them. Like these ones? Yes. And this is bullet wood. You use it to make dye. The inside is red like blood. Yeah, see it here? See? Yeah. <laughs> it's really like super red, mm -hmm. like a wound. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Someone's been eating these fruits. Yeah. Uh-uh. Bird is a national symbol of Jamaica, but the garden at Rocklands also has all the national symbols. We have spotted an aki, which is a national fruit, and a blue maho tree, which is a national tree. These big flowers, where are they from? National tree, blue maho, this one. Oh, so this is the... the, the, the That's the blossom, the... yeah. There's a better one. The only objective negative that you should be aware of is that this experience can be weather and time dependent. Birds are living creatures and they live in the wild, and obviously you cannot order them to come to you if they don't want to. We came at around half past ten in the morning and the weather was just fantastic. There were so many birds flying around and some were even fighting to get to us. We didn't have to wait for them at all. They were all around us even before we could get a bottle to feed them. I really felt like a Snow White with all these birds around me. However, if you come when it's too cloudy, too windy or rainy, or when it's late afternoon, you might not get as lucky. So time and weather is the first thing to keep in mind when planning a trip to Rocklands. The second one, which is more subjective, is the drive itself. Rocklands is located in the hills close to a little town known as Anchovy in St. James, about 30 minutes drive from Montego Bay downtown area. You can easily drive there by yourself with a rented car. Most of the road is pretty good, but there is a little part that is really steep and has a few potholes. If you've never driven on anything but quality highways, this road might be a challenge for you. But for everyone else, you can make it up the hill easy on any car, no four-wheel drive needed. Alternatively, you can hire a taxi to take you there. So please see the links in the description of the video for the exact location and contact details. Look, the place is in the hills, and when you add up entrance fees and taxi fare, it could come to around 120 US dollars for two people easily, or maybe even more depending on where you are staying in Jamaica. Now, is it worth it? If you go to TripAdvisor and read some of the bad reviews, there are only a few, but all of them are about the same thing. We pay $20 per person and all we got was feeding birds. But that's the whole point, which unfortunately they missed. It is not a tourist show. It is not a museum with scientific information about birds. Not a botanical garden. It's just a private place. 
but a place where people have been taming hummingbirds, which are supposed to be untamable, and succeeded, so that now a human being can see these tiny creatures, not only like catching a glimpse of them flying somewhere in the bush, but right here, and can even feel them sitting down with their tiny little feet. What do you think? I believe that a visit to Rocklands is a master for any bird lover. The chance to sit in the patio and hand feed famous Jamaican hummingbirds who roam in the wild but not afraid of humans is an incredible unique experience that is only available in Jamaica. Sure, for some people it might not be worth the 20 bucks, and it's fine, there are plenty of other things to do. But for someone like me, this experience is priceless. Let me show you something. So there's like a little trail that leads into this bit of a, like a hill drop. Look at that. It's all forest over there. It just sits at the edge of the forest. Beautiful. And then you have, look at that, a little chair just at the edge. I'm looking for some parrots. You know, me and parrots, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Irina. This is Rexar. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want more videos about Jamaica. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. Roxy. Don't eat my... No, no. These are mine. No. No, these are mine. No, don't take it. Don't. Why you want to take... No. Ah.